The lip flip, it was traditionally used for women who were bothered by their vertical lip lines above the upper lip. We also noticed over time that people who were having this treatment done thought their lip looked just a tiny bit fuller. It's a nice temporary procedure so that you can kind of see what your lip will look like a little fuller. Hi, I'm Jordan and I'm getting a lip flip done today. I want to get the lip flip done today because I've always had a slight insecurity about my lips. I've always felt that my upper lip was a bit smaller than my bottom and I always wanted more fullness in my lips and so that's why I wanted to try out this procedure. I actually don't usually like to smile with my teeth because of my lips. I feel like my upper lip kind of goes away when I smile with my teeth so I'm definitely excited to you know, show off my teeth a bit more once I have this procedure done. I would say I'm a little nervous of how it'll turn out because you know when you see other procedures done, everyone's face is different, but I have heard great things about this doctor and I'm confident that she'll do a good job and we'll know how to enhance them in the right way. I'm Dr. Nancy Samulitis. I'm a board certified dermatologist and owner of Facile and Facile Skincare in Los Angeles, California. I specialize in cosmetic dermatology, but I'm really a big advocate of healthy skin in general. So the Lip Flip is a treatment that is done to relax the muscle partially just above the lip. And what happens when that muscle's relaxed is that the upper lip is able to show a little bit more. So it makes the lip look a very small amount fuller, but it also prevents the lip from puckering too aggressively. So it can prevent those upper lip lines that are very difficult to treat later in life. And it can also make the lips show more when you smile. Where that muscle is quite strong, so mm -hmm. right here, and then we also come in a little bit right here. Mm. And do that big smile again, so you can see how when the lip rolls under here and here, it's gonna help to achieve a more full look when you smile and oh. we'll treat it that way. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> great. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Um, first, I'm going to reconstitute the bottle of Botox. What we do is we take bacteriostatic normal saline and inject two and a half cc's into the Botox bottle. This makes the Botox into a liquid that's able to be injected into the patient's skin. So this is a really nice, simple introductory treatment for somebody who's nervous. It also helps that the treatment's so easy that I think she will be more comfortable with repeating it or maybe moving on to other procedures in the future. The needle that we use to inject is the finest needle that you can actually squeeze a liquid through. <laughs> it's 33 gauge needle and it, you barely feel it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and draw up the amount of Botox units that Jordan specifically needs for her treatment. In this case, I'm gonna be drawing up just four units of Botox, which is a very small amount of liquid. Next, I'm assessing where my injection points will be by asking Jordan to make a pucker face. So when I see her pucker her lips, I can see that I need two injection points per side. Now I'm going to go ahead and start injecting. The entire procedure from start to finish, including drawing up the product, takes about five minutes. The price range for Botox Lip Flip probably varies depending on where you live. It can probably range anywhere from $150 to $300. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean Jordan's skin with an antibacterial wipe. Next, I'm going to hand her some ice just to give her a little bit of anesthesia. Typically, topical uh, numbing cream is not required for this procedure. Ice is totally adequate because it's a very fast procedure. Now time for the reveal. Okay, go ahead and take a look. Oh my gosh. So you can see everything looks pretty normal. Yes. You can go on about your day and then you wait for the excitement to happen. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I feel great. I think the procedure went really well and I'm looking forward to seeing how they look in two weeks. Hello, so this is me a little over two weeks after the lip flip procedure. 
and I'm absolutely obsessed with how they turned out. It's nothing like too dramatic. It's just a little bit, you know, extra thickness in my upper lip and you can tell like a little bit, especially when like I smile. So there. <laughs> and um, even when I talk, you can see that the t upper lip is a little bit more thick and I'm just so happy with the results. I highly recommend the procedure, especially if you're like a little bit hesitant on, you know, filler and just kind of want to see what it would look like with a little bit extra fullness. Jordan did so great, even though she was nervous, she didn't flinch, uh, she didn't ask to take a break. Most patients do really well with this procedure. It's pretty simple. So the aftercare is pretty simple. Most of your normal activities are totally fine. I typically recommend not doing any strenuous exercise or doing something where your head might be inverted, like yoga or laying face down on a massage table, just for about 24 hours. I typically like to check in with my patients after about two weeks when I know the treatment is fully kicked in to see how they like it. Typically when we use Botox or other neuromodulators, the results are known to last about three to four months. In this case, we're using a very small amount of product, so we typically expect the results to be of a shorter duration, usually about six to eight weeks. But everybody's different, and some people's product can wear off a little faster or last a little longer than we expect. So I feel that after this experience that I have a way more positive outlook on plastic surgery. And I think we've moved into a new time where it's okay to get work done and it's better to discuss how it went. I'm looking forward to the extra boost of confidence that I'm going to have and, um, and hopefully my story helps others become more confident as well. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. To subscribe, click here.